Hello YouTube. I said I'd uh, do this. Um, this is the 50 cent video. Um, and I was a member of the Princess Trust back in uh, uh, 1989. It was Team 57. Uh, I had a really great time while I was on it. Um, it lasted 12 weeks and luckily uh, it was just before my 26th birthday or something like that, 25th, 26th and so I was just able to go on this course and it's some of the greatest times I've had in my life to be honest. Um, yeah, it was a 12-week course, We um, uh, there was a number of people in the team including um, Jamie, <coughs> Marie, <coughs> Edward, um, <coughs> sorry about that, <coughs> Edward, um, uh, and a fair few others, sorry I can't think of everyone off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, um, we did um, team building exercises, we had reviews, the first one was the hardest when we were up, um, Snowdonian Wells, which had a review there. Um, that was quite hard. Um, uh, uh, overall, yeah, uh, it was uh, overall really great course. Uh, we did um, at Snowdonia, we did the um, uh, literally uh, a few team exercises there. One with just lifting a a lid off of a bin using some ropes and other bits and pieces but you can't touch it yourself so two people you've got a direct to touch it but on me being a fool i actually went down and touched it straight away and i mean i just didn't you know sometimes you don't quite think you just think and then you really oh blast it i, I, I did it wrong so yeah, th uh, that was enjoyable. Um, other things we did while we were at Snowdonia, we camped out uh, 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 on one of the um, mountain tops of you know not not the steep mountain anything like that, more more of a hill really, sort of, sort of hill. Uh, but because of the time of year, it was really freezing. Um, uh, we all camped out for the night, and I had to wait for someone to get his boots off, which took a fair old while, and it was getting really cold, and we were all cold. But we, we made it through the night, okay, and yeah, it, it, uh, I was pretty pleased uh, that I actually did it. Um, uh, there, was another, there was another thing where we had to... Uh, carry a log um, uh, uh, all the way across uh, the, uh, some of the uh, countryside there. Uh, I didn't really say how are you, hello, you know, if you're okay or anything like that. Um, so, but uh, I did carry the log. But, uh, I should have done that. Uh, looking back, I, I can see that now. But I was a much younger man then. Um, yeah, so th th those are those in uh, uh, um, Snowdonia. We did the um, St. Christopher's as one of our team projects. Uh, we did a playground for, uh, for it. We uh, r raised some money to cover for um, the sw some swings because th these kids were um, disabled, handicapped. Uh, um, we were able to get them a, a play sandpit as well. Um, we really spruced it up and that. We didn't actually finish the sandpit. I think the guy that did the first aid course, that took us through the first aid course, uh, actually finished it off for us. He was kind enough to do that. So I can't remember his name offhand, but I really would like to thank him for doing that. But uh, yeah, we did that. Um, we also w uh, went to the uh, fellowship, uh, a, a holiday respite centre for the disabled people. Um, that was, we were there, I think, for a week. Uh, that I thought was really enjoyable. It, it, it was a new experience for me and for, for the others as well. And um, uh, basically, 
I was uh, uh, with with someone, another team member. I've forgotten the name of off the top of my head. Really sorry. Um, uh, this man had a number of problems. He, I think it was Huntinson's, and uh, at the illness, he was literally paralysed. So and he can barely move. He could only move his uh, uh, eyelids and that to try to communicate. It was very difficult for him. That was one of the toughest uh, things I ever did, to be honest. I found that really hard, but um, um, I came off of that and um, uh, we had a we had one break a night up a pub also, but. Actually, I really did enjoy the uh, time spent there, and it sort of like gave me the first experiences of care work, which um, led on to me doing um, uh, some care work in a few care homes. I couldn't manage it, I only mean, managed it about five or six weeks. I couldn't cope due to personal problems and other things, but. Uh, uh, I did that, and now I'm a full-time carer for my nan, which I've been doing for a number of years, all in all ten years. So I've been doing that quite heavily. But, um, yeah, it was a really great course, really great team-building course. Um, it is, honestly, if anyone from about, I think, 16 to 24 is considering doing the Princess Trust course, please do it. I, I, I won't emphasise this enough. Please do this course because it will change your life for the better. You'll end up with um, certificates out of it, not only the certificate for actually completing the course, you'll have your food, basic food hygiene course uh, uh, certificate. You'll have your fir first aid certificate as well. Both very handy and it's just really well well worth doing it's a shame i can only do it once i also want to thank the team leader mandy coates um now i've actually got married and got a kid i've uh, got a kid which i'm very pleased for her to be honest i'd like to really thank her because it went for the princess trust and that course uh i may not even be around now because of the problems I've had in the past. Um, there was a lot of bad things that happened to me, happened to me uh, since the course, and I, it's helped me to cope. It helped me to cope, gave me that little bit more strength to help with the problems I have had, um, which were really bad, I've, uh, to be honest, I would admit. I've actually had a nervous breakdown in the last 10 years, I think more than one, because of the things that have happened, but it still helped me. Oh, it's ha it helped me to actually cope with life. And if it went for the Princess Trust course, I don't know what had happened. I don't know where I'd be. I don't even know if I'd be alive right now. So it's that important to stress that in this vid and I will never actually mention or omit anything to do with that side of things again in a YouTube video because it's quite personal to me. But yeah, the Princess Trust is one of the best courses around and it's well worth doing. Um, 12 weeks of meeting new people, uh, having new experiences in your life, uh, it's one of the best courses out there. I did forget, and um, we did a, a one of these city farms as well, uh, Sid World Birds Farm, and we I was painting the um, uh, fences green, which I really, um, uh, a shed or something green, which I actually really enjoyed. And I was almost there, almost finished it. And I wish I actually spoke up and say, look, I really want to finish what I was doing. But never mind. So yeah. Those were my, some of my experiences. Uh, I'm sorry if off the top of my head, I can't, uh, I couldn't remember all the names uh, that uh, I went to, and I can't find my folder at the moment to do with it. But I thought I'll make this video because it's very important to me. It's very dear to my heart, and uh, the actual people that run the Princess Dress is doing a fantastic job. And I do thank him for actually 
uh, for that course. And I, I do thank the uh, Prince as well, Prince of Wales, uh, Prince Charles, for actually uh, coming up with this course and actually setting this course up and for him. I mean, there'd be a lot of um, uh, uh, troubled uh, uh, young people. I mean, people that are, because of this course has actually turned their lives around because of the course. It went for the course, their lives would have took a different direction. So, uh, it, it is, uh, it is just one hell of a course and well worth doing. If you're 16 to 24 and you've been considering about this course, please do take the course. Uh, that's it. Until next time.